Thanks for joining us on What Matters This Week. I'm Lauren Maloney. With me this Sunday is Senga Fela Kenny. She is the Boys and Girls Club of Vermont Youth of the Year for 2019. Senga, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You've had this title two years in a row. Yes, I did. That's very impressive. Yeah. And you go to regionals in New York City yes. in just a few weeks. What mm -hmm. does that entail with your title? Uh, we present a speech and we get interviewed with pa panel of the judges, yeah. Okay. And we present our speech on stage, yeah. Okay. So your speech you've had ready? Yes, I did. And is it nervous? Are you a little nervous to present it to a large group? Um, I'm excited <laughs> since I'm used to it, but a little bit nervous, yeah. What can people expect to hear in your speech? Uh, they, they can accept to hear from my speech that um, we are, the main point is we are brothers and sisters, no matter what. It doesn't matter like what your skin color you are, and it doesn't matter uh, if your different religion or your background is bad or good. We are brothers and sisters no matter what. And it also tells that life changes with time, just mm -hmm. like the weather. Life, ch ch when your life is bad, it can be good in the end because it changes with time. Excellent. That's, yeah. a, that's an inspirational quote right there. Thank you. Sangha, tell me a little bit about yourself because you came to the United States at nine years old. Yes, Correct? I did. Yeah. Okay. And where did you come from exactly? I came from Tanzania refugee camp in um, Kanembwa. Yeah. So, how did your parents mm -hmm. and how did your mom mm -hmm. really help get you ready, and and for the for the, your years ahead, especially when it came to going to Burlington High School and the Boys and Girls Club? Mm -hmm. My my mom, my parents has been like the greatest inspiration towards my education. They always encourages me to do better in school. They always tell me that um, education is very important and it can change your life from today, tomorrow. Yeah, and they always support me towards my education. Yeah. How did you get involved in the Boys and Girls Club? I got involved with the Boys and Girls Club when I was around 11 years old or 12 years old. Um, I heard about the Boys and Girls Club actually when I was around 4th or 5th grade because my, t my brother Tumba was told that uh, he should go to the Boys and Girls Club by a teacher, Miss Linda. Uh, yeah, then by, by that time, I, I couldn't go to the Bones Girls Club because it was like late. It was like 6 p.m. that it was closed. In the winter time, it would be dark outside, so mm -hmm. it was hard for me to go there. Then in sixth grade, I was able to go home alone, so I started going in sixth grade to the club. And the club has made a greatest impact in me because when I, at that age still I was struggling with reading and a club staff member saw me reading the book upside down and decided to help me read it in the right way. Yeah. Wow. But I understand that you are mentoring others now in yeah. the Boys and Girls Club, so you've really come full circle. True, yeah. And it's all because of the mentor there that me mentor who helped me, like taught me how to read and helped me with homework, uh, inspired me to help others. Wow. Yeah. So bullying prevention, I understand, is mm -hmm. also a, a big theme for you and you want to instill that yeah. in others. How are you helping others when it comes to that issue? Bullying, yeah. I try to, like if a kid is going through boring, bullying, I, I try to talk to them and try, I try to make them show me who is bullying them so I could go talk to that person and try to b break things out, like to try to 
do everything as, as possible to know what that body is going through so we could help each other and become as family yeah, instead of hate. That's powerful. How has incorporating education at Burlington High School and your education mm -hmm. helped instill the leader at, that you are at the Boys and Girls Club? Education at Burlington High School is really amazing. Um, it's, it's a diverse school, yeah, which is great about it because um, at, at Burlington High School, yeah, there isn't like hate going around each other's background. So I like that, yeah, that's, and I, they have like energy, positive energy, and that energy helps me to be positive at Bones Girls Club, and the Bones Girls Club positive energy helps me to, positive, to be positive everywhere, yeah. You're graduating soon, and I yeah. heard you're going to Castleton. Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> and you're going to major in biology. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. What about biology makes you interested in the world ahead in, in the field? Um, when I was a little, when I was in the refugee camp, my mom uh, used to do the tribe, tribe medicine go in the forest to find medicine and I've been very interested in learning about plants yeah and a little bit about human body wow. and also um, in Congo I heard that my dad used to teach his biology and chemistry so I was like really interested in like trying to find follow their footstep do you want to be a doctor, do you think? Maybe, definitely, yeah. Wow. And you have a, a twin sister, so yes. you're both going to Castleton. Yes. How has your sister helped you along the way in, in the different processes of your, of your life, especially <laughs> here in Vermont? Yeah, my twin sister has been like pushing me towards doing things, even things that I'm not comfortable with. She would push me like out there you can do this she has been a biggest support in my life she supports me to do better and she supports me to, she supports me in a lot of ways yeah and if i have something that i really want to do i always go up to her to ask her if th this is okay and she would support me yeah and i'm sure she would say that you have helped her along the way in the same in the same aspects <laughs> yeah when you look at okay you're going to go to college and yes. you're going to major in biology what are your other goals that are important to you right now looking ahead uh, my goal is go to college work really hard focus in school spend time doing homework and also have fun yeah you got to make time for fun, right? Yeah, make time for fun. Like time management is the thing I have to work on in college. Yeah. Okay. Your essay, your presentation mm -hmm. in New York, which you're going to give in regionals in a few years. Yeah. If there could be one message mm -hmm. that you want to instill mm -hmm. on younger kids, yeah, what would it be? It would be younger kids, the youngest kids, Yeah, I will tell them to stay in school and to, to not make their dream only dream, to live their dream by, like, by going out there, like doing what they want to do in, in the future, like work hard towards their goal and do not give up because giving up is not always the right choice. But working hard is always the right choice. And also the other thing that would inspire them to not like, to not judge a person. Yeah. And, and to not think about a person, oh, this person has this. Why don't I have that thing? Because it's not always good. Yeah. Would you tell other kids mm -hmm. to join the Boys and Girls Club? I would definitely recommend that <laughs> Your for face the Boys lights Girls up. Club. I would definitely recommend that for the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah, because the Boys and Girls Club, it's like really safe place and it's a family. Yeah, it's a family that you can run to 
any time that you're feeling down, yeah. Well, Senga, I wish you the best of luck. It was so amazing to talk to you, and you're just so inspirational. So Thank good you. luck in regionals, and congratulations on your graduation, Thank too. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us on What Matters This Week. I'm Lauren Maloney. We'll be right back.